We're here at Arizona Stadium with U of A Athletic Director Greg Byrne. Believe it or not, the uh, Wildcat football season is not too far away, Greg, and it's always fun to talk football uh, here in spring when the weather's perfect, just like it will be this fall. I know we're excited about that. Uh, the football season ticket renewal deadline is coming up on May 1st, so that's one of the, the initial big dates here. Why is that so important? Well, it's very important not only for our football program, but for our entire athletics department because of the financial model for us is very dependent on a successful season ticket base for Arizona football. We're actually uh, ahead of last year's number at this point for renewals. We're ahead as well on new ticket sales, so I think there's a renewed energy uh, for Coach Rodriguez and his staff, the changes they've made defensively. Uh, we can see the headway we're already making from a recruiting standpoint, which I think are very good. And, and uh, everybody being here and having their season tickets and being a part of our, our game days at Arizona Stadium are a critical component for our ability to be successful long term as a football program. Following up on that, a large fan base is vital, obviously, to the success of the football program and for every sport on the U of A campus. What message do you send? How do you emphasize the need to have this place filled every Saturday? It, it's critical. Energy and enthusiasm is contagious, just like a negative attitude is contagious as well. And so we want to make sure we're on the positive side of that. And, and uh, the full Arizona Stadium from uh, an energy level, you just can't match it. And that not only makes an impact for our football program, the guys on the field and the coaches feel that energy and enthusiasm, but all of our recruits and all of our other sports. Uh, just hired a new basketball, women's basketball coach Adia Barnes, and one of the things I told her is that this entire community loves the Arizona Wildcats, and it's great to be in a place like that, and that's a separator for us. Our fall season with football sets that tone for the entire year, and so the, the responsibility that our fans have to be here and be a part of it is, is such a difference maker for us, for, and so for all of our fans that are here, we greatly appreciate them. For all of our fans who are on the fence and aren't coming, maybe as much as we, we'd like them to, we need you here. It's critical for us to have success long term. You made some great upgrades to Arizona Stadium, video board, the Lowell Stevens facility, etc. What will the fans see new in 2016? Well, actually, the area we're sitting in right here, which is the 100 level on the east side, these seats are, are on their last leg. And before the start of the next season, we will have new individual chairback seats, much like what we have in the north end zone of Lowell Stevens. That will be from one end of the section of section 100 all the way down to the end. And uh, that will be a nice addition, much more comfort for our fans sitting in these seats uh, and even getting rid of some of the bleacher seats and replacing those with chairbacks. Uh, we've uh, continued to add to, the, we have the video boards which we really enjoy and we're gonna continue to try to offer some new concession opportunities for our fans as well. As you know, we have long-term plans for the rest of the stadium. Now, we're working on a funding model that can be sustainable for, uh, for its success and completion. And so those will be things we'll continue to work on in future years. But uh, just in this section alone, we'll, they'll have all new seats next year. This is an even year on the calendar, which means the Wildcats get five conference home games, two other non-conference home games, plus a, a game up in Glendale to get things started. How can that game in particular maybe set the tone for 2016? Well, we said, uh, I remember the day I got hired, I think believe I was asked, are we ever going to play a football game in Phoenix, uh, other than when we play uh, in our arrivals up there. And so it was something that we looked at. I did not want us to take a home game away from the Tucson area because we know our business community depends on that. So we're still able to have seven home football games this year in Arizona Stadium. And then uh, and we need everybody for that, but then we've got a, a great opportunity to start the year, first week of the year in Phoenix at uh, Glendale and uh, the home of the Arizona Cardinals, but that day will be home of the Arizona Wildcats when we take on BYU. And we really need everybody in Tucson to make the, the journey up there. And we really need even more so all of our fans in the Phoenix area, in, in central Arizona, northern Arizona, make the drive to Glendale be there to support our team and show what a, the passion that's here for the University of Arizona throughout the state of Arizona. And this will be a great opportunity to do so. So tickets are already available. We've sold quite a few already. We've got a ways to go. And we'll, we'll look forward to having a lot of red and blue that day when we take on the, our, the BYU Cougars. All right, we look forward to September 3rd, Wildcats and the Cougars in Glendale. And of course, everybody here for all seven home games at Arizona Stadium.